You can come in transparent. Come in transparent. Because I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you. That's right. Man, that's Amen. what it's all about. You want to see people get delivered and set free and healed? Amen. You let them come in as they are and Amen. let the glory of God Woo! heal their heart, heal their mind, heal their mind. I don't care if they're getting divorced. I don't care if they just cut themselves. That's right. I don't care if they just tried to commit suicide. I don't care if they're addicted to everything that you can be addicted to. You let them come in transparent Amen. and Amen. let God say, heal their heart. Amen. That's how you live that God is in this place. That's right. Amen. Because when you have a form of an appearance, then you get what man can give you. And that's why by 6 or 7 o'clock tonight, most people that has went to church, everything that they received is gone because it only came from man. That's it didn't right. come from God. That's right. That's right. Well, Pastor Mickey, you don't understand. I come in, I feel the glory, I feel the goosebumps, I feel the anointing. But man, by 5 o'clock tonight, it's God. Uh, is gone. You must understand when you receive from God, it doesn't seep out yeah. in just two hours. That's right. But when we have a show of church, yeah. come on now, come on. That's why I've been telling you for the last couple of weeks, church as usual is over. Amen. And we're not doing change for the sake of change. We're just going to follow God's anointing. Amen. That's it. Praise That's God. it. Yes. We have learned how to do church. With no power and no glory. And I believe that's why so many people are sick of church. Yeah. How many know somebody yes. that they're just sick of church? Yeah. You could get, you could invite them to church, but they are not coming. Yeah. Anybody know anybody yes. like that? Yes. Because at one time, I guarantee you, if you talk to them, at one time in their life or another, they came to church searching and there was famine in the house of bread. That's right. Amen. When I was in high school and in college, there was a subject that I wasn't so good with, and that was math. Because math is stupid these days. <laughs> they call it new math. I personally just like the regular old math. If you take this, you add this, you're going to get this. <laughs> Or if you have this much and you divide it by this much, this is how much. And even if even if you fraction it and you divide it and you have this half and this half and a third, I can understand all that. But all this new math, when you got to go through a whole page of steps to find out what X is, right, <laughs> is dumb to me. I never understood it. Still to this day, I don't get it. If you want to, if you want to talk about regular math and fractions and all that, I understand that. I get it. You start bringing the alphabet into your math, you need to go see somebody else because I don't get it. And the church, for far too long, come on, come has on. tried different steps and right. different programs, trying to figure out what X is. Let me erase all the headache. The X factor is the glory of Amen. God. And that's the only way we're going to see anything change. And that is the only way. It's not about programs, although we have them. And it's not about steps that we take, although we have a schedule and steps. But the X factor in our church needs to be the glory Amen. of God. Praise God. See, if you adopt a program from another church, that's all you got is their program. People are, st you may get a few behinds in the pews. Right. But they're the same as when they came in. That's right. The X factor is the glory of God. Yes. And you say, Pastor, well, what is that? What does that mean? What is glory? I'm glad you asked that. That's a good question. The glory, you must understand, is not a slow song. Right. The glory is not a fast song sung double time four times. Right. If you look at the scriptures that we read and we've been reading in Exodus, God's power and God's presence was both in the cloud by day and the pillar by night, two totally different atmospheres, but yet the same glory. Right. Right. Come on, come on, yes. I'm going somewhere with this. It's not about anything that we can create or we can, we can do just by playing certain songs. I want you to understand that. Put this up. Glory is the only atmosphere in which God manifests his power. Amen. If there is no glory, there will be no manifestation. Right. The Israel
Israelites followed the cloud by day and the fire by night. And wherever that fire or that pillar or that cloud went, that's where they went because they understood it was not about them collectively and their tent that they carried, but it was about the glory of God. Amen. And so that's the reason why if, if we have church and there's no glory, we lose by at night what we thought we have gained. That's why when people come up here and they sense the glory of God and they sense the anointing on their life, if it's not God's glory, they will leave exactly the way they came in. But when God's glory is in this place, people get set free. Amen? Amen. And they can then go on into greater exploits in God. You must understand that we have learned to have church and we have people that come in and they say, you have well entertained me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Praise team. That was a beautiful job today. Let's give God praise for you. Yep. You sung the shackles right off of me. You almost made me get up. <laughs> I was on the edge of my seat and then I got the cramp. And I had to sit back down, but praise team, you did well today. Come on. Yep. Pastor, my was that a wonderful word. It gave me two goosebumps on my head. <laughs> Thank you for fasting and praying and hearing from God. You, We have been trained that this is theater. All we're missing is some popcorn and some juju beads. Right. Come on. You know that I'm telling the truth right now. Yes. Yep. Amen. And we have been trained... That we can come in and sit and just let who's up front entertain us and make us feel good. And we clap to give them praise and we leave the same way. And we wonder why that if we are not wearing Christian paraphernalia or our church get up, that people don't even recognize that we are a Christian. Right. Because we have been so trained that it's on the outward appearance. But I'm here to tell you it's about your character. It's about the anointing and the glory of God your life. Amen. You can be anywhere in some shorts and a t-shirt and if God's glory is on you, people should feel that anointing on their life. That's right. Amen. We don't want that though. Usually we want to be entertained because then when we leave church, we leave everything about church here. Right. And then we go about our business. That's right. But you understand when God's glory fills this place, it doesn't stay here. It gets in here and it goes out. The Bible says, if you read in Ezekiel, that it goes out into the communities and it goes out into the streets. Amen. It's not just God's glory. It's not just, you understand, God's glory is just not this fog that all of a sudden comes and it just starts filtering out. God's glory is you and I going out of this place Amen. into the communities and into the streets. Tell your neighbor, we got to get glory. Gotta get glory. Come on, it's not about appearance. It's not about that. We must understand that pastors have tickled our ears. We've had a shouting good time. I like that song, but God didn't show up. Right. It's about his glory. There was no manifested power, and there was no environment for the miraculous Put this up and we have settled for less than what God wants us to have. That's right. Because it's become an appearance of godliness That's without right. glory. Amen. God does nothing outside of his glory. And in, in our human environment, we need a manifestation of God's glory. Put this up. The glory of God comes whenever there is a collision between whatever is happening in the earthly realm and what is going on, or in the heavenly realm and what is going on in the earthly realm. The glory of God comes whenever there's a collision between whatever is happening in the earthly realm and what is happening, or in the heavenly realm and what is happening in the earthly realm, and it shows up as an explosion in the spirit. Amen. How many has ever heard the phrase is thunder and lightning. Everybody say thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. You must understand that that's backwards. 
But you hear it all the time, right? What's it doing outside? All is thunder and lightning. But it's backwards. It's supposed to be. It's lightning and thunder. 